How we doing today? Good day. Great, perfect, beautiful, and dandy. There's no troubles, there's no worries. Everything's amazing and everything's great. Positive thinking has really molded me. And now because I think differently, I can live happily ever after. Thanks for watching. Drop a like and subscribe. Yo, just real quick. If you see some red stuff on the side of my head, I was using a clay face mask. Shout out to my girlfriend. I didn't wash all of it off. Okay. Okay, if only it was that perfect all the time and everything was truly sunshine and rainbows. Gonna be working on a new edit here soon. But you know what? I have to remind myself to pause, to take a little break, to step away. And of course, to get outside, yo. Whoa, don't forget to get outside. I'm telling myself this because I don't get out enough, man. So every time I get outside, even in my own backyard, it feels like I'm doing something for the first time. I like to use these vlogs as a way to express my mind what I'm going through on the spot in the moment. Competitive gaming and playing Call of Duty for as long as I have, I've noticed started to change the way I feel about gaming, specifically Call of Duty. Since it's my main game, I'm a gamer at heart, I love all of them, but I made most of my career from all the content creation, all the vids I put out over the years. But the nature of the game itself, I'm just here to reflect on what I do and to stop and to think about it because I get so caught up. Every year, another COD game, more content, more gameplay, more XP, more levels to get. Here we go, baby, a new game to learn and master. I sometimes forget to take a step away and just to appreciate life in my own home, in my own place, bro. I don't go on trips or vacations. I don't travel much, even though I could. I just really try to live below my means. I'm not being extravagant. I'm trying to make the money I've saved up over the years last my whole life. You know, taking this time to step out here and just to talk to the camera, whoever is listening, feels good for my mental health and wellness. Vlogging, it was a big part of my channel growing up. I would share behind the scenes stuff. Oh, by the way, an old lady blew through my fence like this was during the winter time and i still haven't got it fixed i was planning on getting a whole new fence i just haven't done it yet there's many things that i gotta fix and improve on around my house of course in myself my mind there's only so much i could do at one time and by sharing this on the internet of course i'm opening myself to others opinions i might say things that might make people feel like hey that's not right you should or shouldn't do that at the end of the day we're all just expressing we're all just living we're all just being ourselves in whatever way even if we're acting even if for years i was like yo what's up guys it's elite shot here aka sean and today we're going outside and vlogging it would feel like an act it would feel like a performance it still kind of does but now i feel more natural about it i don't have to like put on a face or a show i can come out here looking like a hobo but i'm not a hobo bro i got my own home i like nature just realness Keeping it real, not being afraid to be yourself. Some people might look at you strange and weird and think like, what's he doing talking to a camera? Oh, he's just a YouTuber. He's just one of those TikTokers or something. Facebookers, Twitchers, I don't know. Kickers, what do they call those kids nowadays? Speaking of which, I might actually stream on Kick. I might try it out. My YouTube channel hasn't grown in three years. The subscriber count literally hasn't moved. And psychologically, it like is messing with my brain because it feels like no matter what I'm posting or doing or sharing, streaming, posting content, it's just not it's not moving because my channel is losing more inactives and it's gaining new ones so i might try to stream on kick just to see you know who comes through try to see what type of platform it is how we can grow on there i know kick was talking about like some incentives for uh streamers even if you're smaller channels i just want to feel like i can grow somewhere on a platform that actually pushes my stuff to those who are subscribers and whatnot just so everyone knows if i were to stream on kick i wouldn't be done streaming on youtube so i don't want you guys thinking oh no he's gonna leave us forever you quit you're done let's not be too dramatic save that for me grateful thankful and blessed never forget man grateful thankful and blessed Yo, I personally don't need much in life to make me happy. I don't I don't need this kitchen. I don't need this whole house. I don't need all the things I got to make me happy in life. It's super cool and dope. But all I need is the essentials. If I'm blinking, breathing, walking, talking, I have food and shelter and water. I'm pretty good, yo. I'm pretty good. And everything else I like to think is a bonus. There's many parts of me that I have a lot of maturing to do. There's things I have to take care of in real life. But I know every step of the way, every 
every day is another chance to do that thing that you know you want to do. I guess I just like walking around my house for you guys. Might as well. I paid for it. Thanks to you guys for watching. There's a lot of ways I have to improve. People might mock and make fun of me for being too skinny, for being this or that. No matter what you do, you could be the most perfect human and people are still going to say things about you that, that you might not like. I'm not here to people please everybody. Everyone's not here to people please you. For real, man. The older I get, the less I want to people please and the more I just want to be. If I'm busy trying to people please every person, trying to say the right thing, trying to act the right way, I can't be worrying about upsetting other people. I just got to be myself and that's that. Just be my full authentic self, whatever that is. Whisper, I can talk very quietly. I can go any which angle I want. I can express, be, share love without having to feel like I'm upsetting someone. And sometimes it might come out in savage ways when I'm playing Call of Duty, when I'm slaying, when I'm killing it. Things might come out differently than when I'm just chilling in my house talking to you guys right now. I'm hopping on here to say the daily vids and vlogs and content is back. Even if it means just hopping on camera and talking to you guys. Even if it means I'm going on hikes, unboxing shoes, or showing some other behind the scenes things or shorts. Of course, more gameplay commentaries, live streams. I ain't stopping, bro. I'm gonna keep doing what I enjoy, keep doing what I love, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep your eyes peeled, bro. More content on the way. Bang. Yo, if you made it this far into the video, comment, stay elite. Appreciate the love, y'all.